it's Jeremy and in this video we're going to tackle if it's better to get a PC versus a Mac if you're a graphic designer. So the age old debate, do you need a Mac to be a graphic designer or can you use a PC or can you even use a mobile phone? I heard an interesting story, someone messaged me on Instagram the other day and he said he can't actually afford a laptop right now due to money reasons and he lives in a third world country and he actually uses his phone and he was creating um, Instagram carousel content on his Android and he told me that some of his friends said um, you can't be a real designer, you need a Mac, you need a laptop or a MacBook Pro or whatever they told him um, and they actually like shut him down and, and cut him off and were very negative towards him and he felt really cut and I had to come in and just be like look dude it actually doesn't matter what you use PC, Mac, Android or whatever Obviously, I do recommend getting some sort of laptop or computer so you can actually be more efficient because on a phone, it'd be kind of hard. But even an iPad these days, you can create things. Um, so I told him that and he felt a lot better. But yeah, that, that, that's my initial thought. Like, don't let people um, push you into a corner and say you have to do this or that. You just do you and pick the platform what's best for you. But anyway, let's tackle my opinions on whether you should get a Mac versus a PC. Let's talk about a Mac first. So back in the day, I did have a MacBook Pro laptop. It was a 15 inch. I actually had it throughout high school towards the end of my senior years and then in um, university as well. So I think I had it for around uh, three to four years. And then I eventually um, went back to just sticking with PC instead of using a laptop. And over the, that period, it was fine. It was good. And for me, the, the pros of a Mac is really the build quality. So it's all self-contained. I don't need to buy a separate monitor. Um, if it's a laptop, obviously that's a laptop, but if you buy the iMac, um, it comes self-contained. It's got the screen with it. It's got the you know operating system. It's got all the parts within that one piece of equipment. Instead of um, a PC, you have to go buy separate monitors and things like that. So that's one good thing. The ecosystem of Mac is another benefit as well. So if you have an Apple Watch, if you've got an iPad, if you've got AirPods, they all sync together. So if you're an Apple type of person, stick with that ecosystem. If you're a PC type of guy, stick with that ecosystem. So those are uh, uh, top two benefits I'd say for Mac. Another thing as well is that it's got a simple operating system. So if you're not tech savvy and you just like sort of plug and play, download uh, the system and that's all, then usually Mac is the way to go. It's just really simple to handle. Obviously the way that um, the operating system functions, like icons and folders are different to PCs, um, but overall it's pretty similar. And also the last thing would be accessories. So you can actually get things like Apple pencils, which work really well with iPads and screens and things like that. So Apple have exclusive accessories and you know, they're just well known for their designing their products. The only thing I see as a con though, is that I don't like the magic mouse where you have that mouse you have to flip and charge it. I think that's very silly, um, bad design decisions. Um, but that's one of the cons when it comes to Mac. The other cons that I do have is that um, compatibility issues. So some softwares are only available on PCs. Another thing to think about is that upgrading later down the road, it's actually harder to upgrade iMacs and, and laptops unless you screw like everything out. And um, you know, these days it's probably easy. I, I don't know, but um, from my experience, I know it's a lot harder compared to PCs you know, installing new RAM, installing a graphics card. Everything is, is very integrated with the, the Apple product. So that's a, another negative um, thing about it. And then obviously the high cost. Usually it's like double the price compared to building your own PC. Macs are just expensive. Obviously you're paying for the, you know, build quality and the name and the brand and all that stuff. So it's usually more expensive, but personally I think it's better um, in terms of uh, going for a PC because it's just, a lot cheaper so you have money for other things like buying software and buying you know other accessories and graphic um, resources and things like that so those are my initial pros and cons for the Mac now let's talk about PC PC what are the pros of a PC number one is that you can customize your build to whatever you want you can create a creative build as in like building the PC from scratch you can customize your parts so I can put as much RAM in there I can um, put a certain GPU, I can buy a nice CPU that I like, so I can literally customize everything about the PC. And that's, I think, one of its strong points. The second um, pro is that it's actually uh, cheaper. So it's more affordable to buy parts and 
um, you know, put it all the together, again, then buying just a Mac for 5K, um, when literally I can do a PC and it will last the same amount of time. My last computer I had lasted five to six years and then I started upgrading my parts. Um, but it lasted a long time and I, I sold it to my brother and he's using it now. So um, I think Macs and PCs both last, um, they do have that quality of lasting regardless of the parts. And then the, the other pros is that, uh, you know, um, there's less limitations. You can always upgrade it later on. You can easily just unscrew the side panel and just insert um, new RAM or whatever it is. And also that uh, more software is actually compatible with Windows. Even though these days, a lot of softwares actually work both for PC and Mac, especially Adobe, Adobe works for both. So it doesn't really matter. Even Affinity Designer and their um, programs work for Mac and PC. Um, so there's not as many limitations as there used to be. But in terms of like being able to play certain games or download certain things, um, PC is a lot better. So those are the pros for the PC. Now let's talk about the cons. There's only a few really. Uh, the first one is that you might be more susceptible to virus attacks or Trojans or whatever that is. So if you're not tech savvy and you click on things and you don't have security, um, like malware bytes, I use that, then you're gonna, you know, you might, you might get a virus or something. So you gotta be careful when using PCs and stuff online. Just use good security um, and buy a program. And then lastly is that it's not self-contained like the iMac. You have to go buy a monitor, you have to buy a keyboard, a mouse, you know, all those extra things that, you, that a PC needs. You gotta buy Windows and all those things. So that's another downfall. But overall, personally, I think it does not matter if it's a Mac or a PC. You don't have to buy a Mac just because it's cool or because, you know, the design studios use it. Like that's just a negative mindset. Just use what's best for you. You know, I've used both. I personally like PC because it's more flexible. I have more control over it, uh, more customization, less limitations. Um, but if you want a Mac and you can just plug and play and it's more and it's trustworthy with the build quality, then just go for that. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Pick what's right for you and what's within your budget. But you know, Mac versus PC, um, it's in your hands. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this, my opinion, um, helps you pick the one that you want, but I appreciate it. Remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.